Hello, and welcome to my Nintendo Switch Sports Bowling Guide. Today I'll be covering two different strategies to help you improve your average scores and get some perfect games along the way. This video is sectioned into four parts, understanding the new mechanics, a foundational strat for online play, an alternate strat you can use for speedrunning, and a section for troubleshooting any mistakes. So make sure to use the timestamps in the description to navigate to the section you need. A disclaimer however, using these strats won't give you a strike on every single throw. No strat will, and there's always a small RNG aspect to each throw, but it's able to give you some perfect games at least. I'll discuss this in the next section, but I just wanted to make this clear. This video will only cover standard lane bowling only, and if there's enough support, I'll make a video showing some setups of the special lanes, which I still need to lab as there's so many of them. With that out of the way, let's get started. Now then, what makes Switch Sports Bowling so difficult to the previous titles, and even the online playtest? There's a pretty simple answer to this. The weight of the pins have been dramatically increased, which has two noticeable effects on your strike consistency. First, the ball will struggle a lot more to power through the pins, and hit the necessary ones needed for a strike, and will instead be pushed off course slightly to the left or right. You can typically see this happen when watching the replay and the ball doesn't hit the 5 pin. Second, the pin action. Pin action is what we describe the movement of the pins after they have been hit, and for a strike, some pins will need to be knocked over by other pins, and not the ball itself. With increased weight, this leaves the chance of pins not having enough force or movement to knock others down. During the tutorial, we'll be taking each of these RNG aspects into account, but keep in mind these can still mess you up even after you know about this. Now, let's get onto the lanes and show you how to bowl some strikes. Okay, now that we're here on the lanes, and at the expense of my head, let's go over my online strat. This strat can be pretty precise to set up, but once you get an eye in for it, you'll know where to aim every time. First, make sure to not touch the control stick until you've gotten a good understanding of where to aim, as it can slightly misalign your shots. Use X to zoom in and the Y and A buttons to angle your trajectory left and right. You want to be in the region where the left side of your trajectory line slightly overlaps with the right side of this arrow. Can be pretty tricky to get the exact balance. About there. Then with two hands, hold the Joy-Con vertically so that ZR is pointed to the ground. This will allow you to run up to the foul line. Keep your arms locked in the infamous inverted triangle shape, then swing back and quickly forth as straight as you can. If you get a little left spin, don't worry, because that will actually help you. But until we discuss the speedrun strat, just try to do it as straight as you can. This strat I have coined from previous games as Volleyball, as the motion of swinging forwards kind of looks like the bumping motion in Volleyball. Now, let's cut to a perfect game with this method.
And there you go, a perfect game. Now, let's go over an alternate method that you can also use in speedruns. Okay, here we are for round two, and now you have my face. Although this strat can be used for online play, I recommend doing versions of the previous strat over this one I'm about to show you, as when speedrunning bowling, you do have to sacrifice a bit of consistency for extra speed. This strat will cover bowling for categories such as all sports, and other multi-category sports where resetting isn't as readily available, and doing setupless strikes, strikes gotten purely with spin, isn't viable. Instead of using the angle buttons, we'll be using the stick, as when menuing, you can buffer moving left on the first available frame, whereas you have to time hitting the Y button. So on this screen, hold left and press A, and keep holding left until you reach slightly over the middle of the left arrow of the previous strat, and hold ZR to stop your movement and wind up for your shot, like this. Then, instead of doing a volleyball forwards, you'll want to volleyball upwards, which will send the ball flying towards the pins and hopefully in for a strike. Like that. If you feel you're slightly too wide on your approach, you hit the ZR slightly early, you can add some extra curve to the shot. On frame 10 in a speedrun, you don't want to strike, as striking or sparing will give you an extra third throw, which loses time. Instead, curve the ball into the gutter twice to skip the final throw. Finish. Now, let's do a speedrun with this method. And there you go, a 9 strike speedrun of 1 minute 26. That's a pretty good time considering I was doing a setup. Picture the scene. You've now learnt the basic online and speedrun strats, or are trying to do a strat of your own, but you're still struggling to strike. While some of these issues are uncontrollable and you'll lose purely to bad RNG, here are some things to think about if certain pins are always left standing. The 4 pin and the 7 pin. These pins typically stand when you're too far inside of the pocket, too far left, and going even further left may also result in a split, so it's safer to go too far out than in. The 6 pin and the 10 pin. The opposite, you're too far outside of the pocket. The 5, 8 and 9 pin. These pins are infamous in this game and are quite hard to troubleshoot. Remember when I mentioned how the ball can get knocked around easily in this game? These pins are most likely the guys that will stay up when this happens. Sometimes it's unavoidable, but you can try to decrease your chances by reducing the speed of your throw a little, so the ball knockback isn't so severe. Bruh. And there you go. Now you'll have a solid understanding of how SwitchBot's bowling works, and how to bowl fairly consistent strikes. But don't just take my methods as the be-all end-all, try and experiment with different ideas. Maybe you could combine both strats together, or maybe move all the way to one side and angle in more, 
or maybe use the left pocket instead, or implement lots of spin. Because bowling isn't as consistent as other games, it really allows you to be creative with what strat you do. This video just serves as a basic understanding of how to play with the top player mindset. Thank you so much for watching until the end. With enough support, I would be down to make a special lane tutorial, and then eventually, down the line, a legend tutorial, or how to get A rank in every sport. But we'll have to wait and see. Cheers!